stage yesterday when you were doing the main stage yesterday at noon. I'm like, oh, okay. The Cube at EMC World 2014 okay. is brought to you by <laughs> EMC. Redefine. That's the goal. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. <laughs> Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Welcome back to SiliconANGLE TV's live wall-to-wall -wall coverage, EMC World 2014 here in Las Vegas. Uh, been talking about you know the, the whole federation of EMC, VMware, and Pivotal. Uh, this segment we're focusing in on the channel. And, and joining me, uh, I've got uh, I believe he's Mr. VNX uh, from uh, EMC. It's uh, Jeff Boudreaux, who's SVP and General Manager of the VNX Business Unit, and uh, we've got Bill Brandle, uh, who's from Ingram Micro. He's the VP of Data Center Software. For Storage and infrastructure, guys. Thanks for joining us on the Cube. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, uh, you, you know, we always want to help really extract the signal from the noise. And one of the challenges when you go to these events, is there's a lot of announcements. So, <laughs> Jeff, I'm wondering if you could start out. You know, for, for, for your business unit, you know, can, can you walk us through? You know, what, what were the big announcements, and, and what do they mean to your customers? Sure. Um, we had uh, on stage uh, yesterday in the main uh, main stage as part of the mid-range storage division of Brian Gallagher's keynote. We basically had three big things for the mid-tier business. Uh, we talked about our VNX platform and the evolution with MCX, the major innovation in uh, how we uh, scale cores in that mid-range. In addition to that, we introduced uh, data at rest encryption, which is controller based for the mid-range, which is a, uh, a game changer and tr truly unique for the mid-range offering. And then lastly, which is really important for us, is our uh, VNX E3200, a new platform focused at the entry level and focused directly for our channel partners, key channel partners. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to dig into that in a second. The other one, just uh, for a second, uh, Project Liberty. Project Liberty. Uh, you know, everybody <laughs> always likes, you know, what, what, what's that next thing? Can you, yeah. can you explain, uh, you know, where, where's Project Liberty going? Sure, so uh, as I said, those are product things that we just delivered. This is a yep. project, and what it is is really a virtual instance. So as we embrace the software-defined world and software-defined storage, we have a lot of customers asking us for a virtual instance of their VNX. So they have a purpose-built VNX for their enterprise applications, for other, uh, other applications in the new kind of the new world of software defined, they're asking for those same features to be brought down. So we're separating that, it'll be a truly 100% virtual. Yeah, instance. I mean, you know, if you think about EMC, of yep. course, you know, you, you think of the box, but it's really the software that it's helps software. drive most of it. Uh, EMC has moved to, you know, standardized hardware under it, so, so Liberty helps take that next step when it gets there eventually. Absolutely, it separates the hardware and the software. Uh, it's hybrid, right. it's, it's freedom. So, so, so Bill, <laughs> I mean, anybody that follows the tech industry is, you know, familiar with Ingram Micro. Can, can you, uh, you know, tell us, you know, what, what's your role there? Where do you, where do you sit in the organ? what your, your group do. Absolutely, thanks. So uh, I head up the enterprise software storage and infrastructure business unit within our advanced compute division. Uh, Ingram Micro, uh, a few years back, uh, took a look at our organization and broke off a portion of the business that was really more of a value business. And we, uh, around that, we added a layer of resources and, uh, and investments to go and drive that value business and kind of break away from that core distribution model and look more on how do we become more valuable and relevant to our partners. Uh, so the advanced compute division was created and then within that division there's multiple business units that provide even greater focus around core technology areas. EMC being one of those key areas that we're focused on from a value space. Yeah, so so I mean, there's been a lot of disruption in the channel. I mean, you know, just you know, where dollars you know go as to who puts it together and how does it get there and all those pieces. So uh, you know, can you, can you set for us VNXE? You know, where does yeah. that sit in that whole discussion? You know, when they, when they launched it, it's very much supposed to be a, a simplified platform, so it should come done and customers shouldn't have to do much in it, so where do you guys Absolutely. add value and make revenue from that? Yeah, so we're excited about the VNXE uh, product launch because we believe that it's going to be very attractive to a subset of customers today that uh, when they look at EMC, really look at it more as an enterprise play, right? Maybe a little bit more on the complex side. The VNXE is, gonna, is going to change that landscape quite a bit and it's going to make, uh, make enterprise class products available to that small to medium enterprise space, which I believe um, is, is really where we, where we need to get to, yeah. right? Uh, from a growth perspective. Uh, and then Ingram Micro's value add to that entire equation is really around that, that configuration, right? As more of the uh, converged infrastructure story takes off, a lot of the manufacturers that fall into the groups that I manage are becoming more of a converged story. And the, the EMC piece around the VNXE and being able to build that into a VSpec solution is going to be something that I believe is going to be a game changer for us for the, for the coming year. Great, you know, can you speak to, from a VSpec standpoint, how long have you guys been involved in that and how's adoption? 
Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we, we met with Gil Snearson a couple years back and really said, all right, this is for real. We got to take this seriously. We got to do something uh, a little bit more around this. So uh, we've actually worked out of our Memphis facility, uh, uh, building out a configuration center. Uh, we just hosted a, a customer event where we brought partners in and we actually built a B-Spec solution. Uh, let them kind of watch it being built and, and play with it after the fact. And, uh, and it was very well received. In fact, we had invited Gil to, to attend and, and he was impressed with the solution, he was impressed with the facility, and I think that now with the BNXE and being able to offer that, yeah. that product set into this entire mix is only gonna strengthen our offering. Yeah, so Jeff, if we could go back to you. If sure. you talk about the, the, those new products that you lost, the new BNXE and the new data domain yeah. box, it gives us a little insight when you're when you're developing that. What what are you doing to help you know the channel you know sell support you know do that whole solution better? Sure. So uh, we're really focused on the ease of, and it's the ease of everything. It's ease of not even just the product, but the ease of the ecosystem. So when we look at these things, we want to make sure that they're uh, you know they're they're they're, they're the, the, from a form factor, from a power cooling and a density, but making sure that we have those enterprise level features, and that's also translates from the ease of the software, but also onto how you support the infrastructure as well. So we're really focused on those uh, the simplicity, if you will, of that platform. And then we looked at the ecosystem in regards to how we bundle and package it for our strategic partners. So we put uh, together some bundles and uh, some special configurations to help drive the business and make it easier for them to do business with us in general. Yeah. So, so Bill, it's interesting. When you talk about convergence in general, um, you know, EMC's got good market share there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they, they've really helped drive with, with the channel some of that thought change. But, you know, there were some bumps along the road with everybody because, you know, there was fighting over who does what and how do I get money for Absolutely. it and everything. Um, do you think we've gone past that or, you know, are we, are we, are we you know, poised for a converged infrastructure to really take off now? Or? Uh, so, yes, <laughs> I, I think we are. And I think EMC, uh, you know, the thing I love about uh, working with EMC and, and the time that I've been doing this is, is they have listened to our feedback and they've taken that feedback into consideration when they're designing their programs. And, you know, one of the things we had kind of discussed in, in great length was the complexity of, of programs and, and how products become, you know, get delivered to the street. And uh, I think that they heard and they, they built this, uh, this product set to address that need. And I think that, you know, to answer your question around the converge story, it's here and it's, yeah. it's, it's alive and it's growing. <laughs> Um, and over the last couple years, I mean, we've really seen a lot of success around that Converge story, and, and EMC's been a big part of that, yeah. leading the way. So, you know, Bill, you know, I'm, I'm, you're saying EMC listens, you know, let, let's, Jeff's not here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know, what, what's, you know where, where's the white space? You know, where's the room for growth and the opportunity for, you know, things to go? Yeah, so, you know, I mean, with any company, right, there's always room to grow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, Obviously, this is a new program, so we're going to really be uh, interested to see how it actually works and, and functions, right? And I think that um, working collectively to make sure that operationally we are sound and that we have the products available because this will be a very fast-moving market. Uh, we're anticipating it to be a fast-moving market, so we're going to need to have availability and we're going to need to be able to supply uh, partners with the products that they're looking for when they need them. Um, and, you know, so that's really kind of where I'll... I'll say that we want to see how that develops, but uh, but other than that, I think that you know all of the asks that we have had as a company to EMC, um, they've they've addressed the majority of them, right? And we are still continuing uh, to work together on more. In fact, I just left a, a global uh, distribution panel lunch to come here, and um, that was where Maureen Pirelli was really breaking out. What are the other steps that we need to take to to strengthen our relationship and our delivery? Yeah. So, Jeff, you know. It, since last year at EMC yeah. World, you know, that there was, uh, you know, Brian Gallagher got, you yeah. know, not only the, the high-end enterprise, but but the mid-range. Um, you know, one of the, the critiques that especially your competition would, you know, love to beat on is that EMC's got a really broad portfolio. Um, can, can you give us a little insight as to, you know, especially dealing with the channel, I mean, you know, from the VNXE to the VNX and the VMAX and Isilon and everything else, you know, how are you really simplifying that for the channel? Yeah. So, what, so, we are a portfolio company. It's very clear if you heard Joe or David or even Jeremy speak, we're a portfolio company. We believe the right tool for the right job. So we're looking at uh, products as in different workloads and use cases and how that fits, but then also how they're consumed in regards to if it's a, a converged infrastructure or standalone or best of breed, and then also for the markets they serve and making sure that we either have the right pricing, the right packaging, or the right IT and ecosystem to support that. So as we kind of look as we bring the, the products together, we're, we look at, we're using this term best of breed and bed together. And we're leveraging assets from different components like the data at rest encryption coming into the mid-range yesterday, or bringing key enterprise features like fiber channel or MCX, you know, coming down market into the entry level array like a 32. 
funded, so it gives it more, more horsepower. So those are the type of things we're trying to do as, a, as an organization. We're bringing them together, we're understanding the use cases and the markets we serve, and making sure we're enabling them the best route we can. So if it's through IT, pricing, packaging, those are the things we're doing to really try to simplify the business for our partners. All right. So, so, so Bill, you, you know, talk about the customers for a second uh -huh. here. Um, you know, one of the uh, things yeah, that they we are would, key. Yeah, customer, you important. know, it's all about the customers <laughs> or we wouldn't be here. So, uh, and, and it's been great. We've got to talk to a lot of practitioners here at the show. Um, you know, a message really clear at the show here is, you know, the storage administrator obviously is important, but EMC is trying to speak to that you know, C-suite and become uh -huh. more relevant. Uh -huh. You know, wh where do you see the conversations going? Uh, you know, maybe is it, you know, less of an issue down at kind of the SMB market, or you know, where, where is that kind of operational? Where does that sales uh, motion go? You know, it, it, it's interesting. You know, it has changed quite a bit, right? Where before you were traditionally talking to the IT staff who was in charge of, of building the infrastructure and delivering the service to the to the client base, but today you really go to the line of business. You're seeing more of the conversations happen at the line of business, especially around some of the different applications and use case scenarios that that partners and and customers are finding in their in their IT environment, and then just the be, you know, to be able to deliver those applications uh, quickly to the users and make sure that they're as nimble as possible. So I've, we have absolutely seen an evolution of the conversation move away from kind of the background and back at the IT staff into more of the line of the business and at the C level. Most of these converged stories are, are going to target more of the financial aspects and so the CFO is going to be very interested in that conversation, right? So I think we've Great. seen a lot of that evolution move beyond, you know, the traditional selling motion and into the line of business and into the C level space. From a technology standpoint, we also see a lot of app integration as well. So we do, we've done a lot of focus in regards to making sure we tie back to that key critical application no matter where it is. And if it's you know, VMware or Microsoft or what have you, making sure that we're tightly integrated in that space to ease the business as well. Right. All right. So, uh, cloud. Bill, yeah. I, I'm curious, you know, are you having discussions with, with your customers about cloud? Do you help them kind of just to fortify the application portfolio? Where, where does that sit in your discussions? Absolutely, so Ingram Micro, again, um, for, for uh, five to six years now has had a very strong cloud focus. Uh, we have an entire division uh, that's led by uh, Rene Bergeron and uh, Naveed Nav 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 Dave, and he, uh, collectively, they have to build our global cloud strategy. And they have, over the last five, ye five years, have been building out our cloud story and working with uh, manufacturer partners to bring their cloud solutions into one kind of database, one portal that uh, resellers can then take the best of breed, pull it together into their own solution, add their own services, and then invoice in, in one point in time to the customer, right? Um, so we are absolutely having cloud conversations and we are having cloud conversations with EMC as they're starting to grow up into the cloud. You know, I think originally it was kind of like, all right, well, how's this going to play out? But I think EMC's done a good job of kind of defining their cloud strategy and now we are working with them to kind of build it into our offerings to take that to market together. Yeah, so Jeff, I want you to weigh in here because, you know, when we look at some of the small businesses, sure. you know, if you're a startup, you probably don't have a data center. Correct. And, you know, having an IT staff, you know, for many smaller companies, it's not right. critical to them. So, you know, you know, what's, what's the future of the SMB storage market and uh, kind of the infrastructure in general? So this is where uh, Project Liberty comes in a lot, yeah. right? So we have the purpose-built assets for higher SLAs, but also, the software defined, so people that can't afford to have different ways they want to consume, if it's taking the virtual asset and putting it on a compute node or, or you know, deploying that in a service provider or a cloud, it's, it gives a lot of flexibility and freedom. So if they don't want the purpose built, or they can't afford the purpose built, then we have other offerings for them to meet. So they can deploy right in the cloud, using something like Project Liberty. So Bill, you know, we're here at EMC World, you know, I, I didn't even hear how many, how many you know, channel partners are there here? And I'm wondering if you could give us, you know, if you don't know the number, that's all right, but <laughs> yeah, give us I'm a little bit of insight. You know, people see EMC World, you know, we understand if you're a customer, you're doing hands-on labs, you're going to the pavilion, you're going to sessions, you know. What's it like being at EMC World as a partner? What, what have they got you doing? Uh, well, let's just say I'm walking a lot. <laughs> I think I've worn out two pairs of shoes already. Uh, you know, really, this is the, the, the one time of year that, that we can all get together and, and make sure that we're, we're, uh, we're directionally headed where we said we were going to be last year, right? So, as an example, today I've had multiple meetings with members of both EMC's organization as well as many of our partners who we met here last year. We put a plan in place. We talked about the things that we needed to accomplish over the course of 12 months, and now we're here together to, to kind of regroup and make sure that we're on track and make sure that we, uh, we've all held up our end of the bargain from a commitment perspective and then start to set the strategy for moving forward. And um, you know, I would tell you that a lot of the meetings I've had today are less about you know, let's, let's do a really quick update, but let's really talk about how we're going to take this thing into the future. And, uh, and that's what gets exciting to me about attending this event and, and just how they run it.
So, so, so Jeff, it's going to give you the last word, sure. you know, so there, there's so many big trends going on here, yeah. you know, storage for many years was, you know, to kind of thought of as snorage. Yep. So, you know, <laughs> why, why, is, why is now, you know, what's going on at EMC World, what's going on with your business unit, you know, an important time in the marketplace? <laughs> Information, man. It's uh, it's just amazing right now what's going on between big data, fast data, even as you come down market, just the consumption of mobile and just general IT. It's just an exciting time here, you know, in regards to EMC being in IT in general. It's just an amazing time. All right. So Jeff and Bill, thank you so much for giving us your insight on, on the products and the channels, what's going on in the customer space. Uh, we will be right back with SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage from EMC World right after this quick break. Great. Thank, thank you. you.